<clears throat> Hi, my name is Paul Long. I'm the owner and founder of Annie and Cloven. We're located at 575 Johnson Street, Victoria, BC. We focus on durable clothing, so it isn't exactly like you're gonna know it's durable after two wears. So it took us a long time to get the momentum and sort of create that snowball effect to get people to realize that it was durable clothing. So in the first two to three years, um, just keeping it going was very difficult. You know, we paid our rent for the first couple years, um, holding events, doing live music, and selling beer. It annoyed me that I was spending so much money on clothing and it just wasn't lasting. And then I sort of looked at what what did we wear before synthetics? So what did we wear before we started wearing plastic? And it sort of dawned on me that it was all natural fibers. Um, the majority of it being wool. So that was sort of like, well, we spend less time outdoors now and we wear more synthetics than ever before. But what did we wear when we actually spend time outdoors? And that answer was wool. So that was sort of a dawning moment where I was like, okay, um, maybe we should get back to that idea. So all the wool that we use is pulled out of landfills, sorted, there's also no dyes in any of our wool. We will be transitioning all of our wovens into uh, salvaged textiles. If they aren't coming out of a landfill, typically uh, the yarn that we use for our fisherman sweaters is out of Germany. Um, it's all blue sign certified and all the dyes are all correctly certified off. And then the wovens this year, we did some northern flannels and they all came out of Portugal. So we make all of our clothing over in Vancouver. We started out making it in Victoria. I would say after about a year or two, it just became too difficult, jumping around to all the different sort of seamstresses around and juggling all of that. So then we sort of had the choice. We could either go overseas or we could go uh, into Vancouver. I sort of looked at that and I decided that uh, Annie would be making everything over in Vancouver. I think one of the most proud moments was when I was just around town and I saw people wearing our brand, uh, Anion, and they didn't even know who I was or anything. That was sort of like a very happy point um, for me and just seeing people enjoy it and sort of actually using it for what you know it's used for when you go out around town and you see people wearing it and then also when you're out in the woods surfing, hiking. So the name is derived from the Strait of Anion, which is derived from a mythical passage that Marco Polo said existed, which would connect Asia to Europe for trade. So the Strait of Juan de Fuca that divides Vancouver Island and uh, Washington State was originally mislabeled as the Strait of Anion. Um, today we know the Strait of Anion as the Northwest Passage. So the Strait of Anion is sort of a mythical passage that represents sort of the search for knowledge and the search of the unknown. So that's what I felt like getting into this industry. You know, we played around with the odd bag here and there, but we're sort of known for our heavier wool shirts and that sort of style of clothing. Um, so we sort of stick to that. Um, so I don't think that we'll ever sort of end up out in sort of the malls or anything like that. We definitely sort of like to be in the downtown cores. That being said, digital and online marketing is just so large these days for us. So we're sort of playing around with the idea of do we want another store over on the mainland or over in Eastern Canada or even down in the States or do we just want to focus on digital? So our best selling product is the Modern Meltem. We do them for men and for women. Um, it's all recycled wool, so the blend itself is an 80-20, so that's 80% salvaged wool out of landfills and 20% uh, nylon. So we recard all the material back together and we don't dye any of it and then we use the recarded yarns to weave into the cloth itself. The cloth is a very tight weave that then gets boiled and felted to finish, so we do a very compressed thick finishing on it. This allows you to be in the rain. Uh, for quite a few hours and still stay dry. So that's definitely like the most you know, durable, hard-wearing product that we've sort of become known for just because it fits so perfectly with the Victoria weather. The day of business cards is done. <clears throat> we very rarely even hand out business cards. Everybody just sort of goes straight to your social, whether it's your Facebook or your website or your Instagram. 
I think a lot of people have a misunderstanding of how impactful your social media is on the outward sort of view of your company and your brand. Definitely one of the more enjoyable parts of running a business is the possibilities and sort of the creative, yeah, I guess sort of the creativity that you can sort of do with it, where it can take you. Um, you know, Annie has taken us to some pretty amazing places. We do lots of Wilderness Lodge outfitting up and down the BC coast. So we have been lucky enough to visit a couple of these lodges. Um, and I think it's just pretty amazing where, you know, where your work can take you. Um, we may not, I may not be making as much money as I would be if I had a more corporatized job, but I think some of the experiences um, that I've had with Annie and also the learning has also been pretty amazing.